the 8th of June, 2021, El Salvador. History has been made on planet Earth. As the El Salvadorian president announces that Bitcoin will be accepted as legal tender in the country. While the 45th president of the United States, Donald Trump, claims that Bitcoin is a scam and openly admits that it challenges the US dollar and he wants the US dollar to be the dominant currency on planet Earth, the El Salvadorian president realizes that the current traditional legacy financial system is unfair. It is a weighted game that keeps the wealthy wealthy and the impoverished poor. He opens up his country as an icon, the first country ever to accept Bitcoin as legal tender. Good morning, everybody. Now, I cannot begin to um, express the importance of what we have just witnessed, the importance of this event in history as El Salvador accepts Bitcoin as legal tender. Now, a lot of people thinking that this is not a big deal and they don't understand why this is so important. I'm going to take a second just to explain that and I'm going to take a second to run through what this means, not only for cryptocurrency, but for the financial system on the planet that we live on. The doubters, the haters, the people that wonder whether Bitcoin will make it. Well, those questions are now mute because Bitcoin has made it. You can live off Bitcoin in El Salvador. First, we noticed that cryptocurrency was going mainstream when PayPal adopted it. One of the largest payment platforms in the world accepts and allows you to purchase Bitcoin. I made a video on that in this channel and I expressed, guys, that we cannot underestimate the importance of what has just happened. But now, I never thought it would happen this quickly. We have a country, El Salvador, that will accept Bitcoin as legal tender. Now, I'm gonna play you a clip in just a minute that expresses the, how big of a move this is because a lot of people thinking okay so you can accept Bitcoin in El Salvador doesn't make a big difference but the thing to notice here the massive massive shift is that it is legal tender so that means that if you are a shop if you are a restaurant and someone wants to pay with Bitcoin you cannot tell them that they they are not allowed to pay with Bitcoin you have to accept that Bitcoin let's just play a clip from um, altcoin daily's YouTube channel which explains exactly what is going on with this watch the president is just hello, hello. Everybody. Thank, thank you for Sunday. joining us mr. president thank you yeah thank you for opening this space yeah thank we got like 10,000 people in here a lot of Bitcoiners you know yeah. tons and tons of Bitcoiners listen to you right now pass this bill I, I just follow you. Thanks for the follow. I just followed you back. Using Bitcoin, accepting Bitcoin is going to be a mandate. So it's not like if you go to a McDonald's, I mean, probably most of you don't like McDonald's, but if you go to a McDonald's or whatever, um, <laughs> they cannot say, we're not going to take your Bitcoin. They have to take it by law because it's a legal tender, just like any other currency in any other part of the world. So if you, for example, if you go to Mexico, you will, you, they have to take your pesos. It's not like they, they would say, I'm not going to take your pesos. You have to pay me with dollars. They have to take the pesos because that's the legal tender in Mexico. So in the case of, in the case of El Salvador, Bitcoin is going to be legal tender just as the U.S. dollar. It's only not, it's only not going to apply for accounting. That's the only part where the U.S. dollar is going to remain as the exclusive it's an accounting so the balance sheet the company's balance sheets will be in, in u.s dollars but that's it everything even taxes can be paid with bitcoin so it's it's going to be a full mandate and everybody every restaurant every barber shop every hotel every bank uh every personal transaction every if you want to sell a car everything can be paid in US dollars or in Bitcoin and nobody can refuse the payment. Like other, for example, foreign currencies, you can accept it, but you're not, you're not obligated to accept it. For, you can do a transaction in euros, but you're not obligated to, to do that transaction in euros because it's not, a, it's not a legal tender here. It's just a foreign currency. In, case of, in, in the case of Bitcoin, it's going to be legal tender and it's going to be treated like a national currency, so everybody has to accept it. Wow, watch this.
I think Bitcoin as being the main uh, cryptocurrency in the world being, uh, solves a lot of problems. No uh, oversupply. It, it, it doesn't. It's not in the hands. You know, there's a lot of inequality that comes from from uh, the the central banking system because they 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 pour new money in, but they choose what, where that new money goes to. But but we want we want not only to support it, but we want also to for to demonstrate that we can that the world can benefit from it. And I think El Salvador is is not only a, a country anymore. It's it's a symbol of of what Bitcoin can do. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of pouring in of new technology change our future. And probably we will start seeing other countries follow. So we're going to see a lot of futures, a lot of, a lot of countries' future changing, and that's going to help build a better society. So I think. So the bill passes with supermajority. Congratulations to you all. All right. To you, to you back. Huge. Fantastic. Amazing. Well done. Huge. It, 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 we only needed 43 votes, but it passed with a supermajority, which is good because, I mean, it's representative of the, of the whole nation. The whole nation is behind this. There we have it, straight from the president of El Salvador's mouth. Nayer Bukele announcing that Bitcoin is to be accepted as legal tender in El Salvador. Now on this channel many times I've spoken about a transfer of wealth for early adopters and individuals that get involved in this alternative financial system in cryptocurrency we can expect them to do very well and see a transfer of wealth from the haves to the have not and certainly we have seen that in many occasions a lot of individuals early adopters people that got into the space have become millionaires and billionaires as this alternative more fair financial system starts to gain a foothold but what i've also spoken about on this channel is a transfer of wealth that is bigger than individuals it is countrywide it is country based and I think what we are seeing now is a transfer of wealth or the start of what could be a massive transfer of wealth for countries that embrace this new technology as opposed to countries that don't. We are going to see a, a fighting or a countries at loggerheads because we know China is taking an exact opposite approach to what El Salvador is taking. But it stands to reason that the country of El Salvador is going to start to accumulate a lot of Bitcoin, a lot of cryptocurrencies, just because the people are going to be using it as a currency in the country. And yes, I can say currency because for the first time ever it is legal tender and therefore I can use the word currency. So we will be experiencing a massive inflow of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency into El Salvador. And if Bitcoin and cryptocurrency continue to increase and by all uh, mechanisms and fundamentals, we expect that to happen. We will see a massive explosion of wealth in El Salvador. So the transfer of wealth is not limited to individuals, but it is limited so it is extended and we can expect to see this in countries as well. This is a very interesting time and this is something to be observed as we see wealth flow from the alternative financial system or from the traditional legacy financial system into the alternative system and we see countries that are embracing this new technology become excessively wealthy. At least that is a very likely possibilities. possibility. Guys, I'm excited about this. If you don't own cryptocurrency, take a look at what is happening. Take a look at the revolution and the evolution that we are seeing right in front of our eyes. Individuals, transfer of wealth, countries, transfer of wealth. Extremely exciting times to be alive. That's it from me. I'm out.